Now, since it is the month of love, I figured it would be appropriate if we talked about a romance-themed movie. But not just any romance-themed movie, a religious-themed romance movie, which is why today we are talking about the film based on the religious dating app, Christian Mingle the Movie. The website Christian Mingle began in 2001 and soon developed an app counterpart in 2015. So naturally, when something is very popular, a movie is going to be made. And in this case, Christian Mingle the movie was made, released in 2014 for On Demand, like most beloved Christian movies, from the director-producer Corbin Burnson, also known as one of the cast members of Aw Psych and Major League. The movie is about a young woman named Gwen Ten, played by Elizabeth Blueberry, She's a young woman who just can't find a man like a lot of her friends have. So she doesn't seem to know what to do until she catches an ad on TV for Christian Mingle. She gives it a chance and ends up with a young man named Paul. Rudd. Who seems like just the right guy for her, but it turns out that he's a Christian, which she never considered. So then we get one of those scenes where she talks to her office friend for relationship advice, played by a Christian Wanda Sykes. After a date where she tries to replicate his religion with cross earrings at a Chinese restaurant, well then, let's just hope that they don't catch a certain disease named after a certain Mexican alcohol. 45 minutes I wait here, no I get eat chopsticks. Paul Rudd then takes the girl to a family gathering slash Bible study night, where they establish another girl named Kelly, who is also attracted to Paul. Gwen then goes full throttle to try and win Paul over, to the point where she dresses like she's part of an Amish family when she goes to church. Wow. I'm all conforming to dress code as much as the next guy, but um, even I think that dress could use a little more color. Then she joins them on a missionary trip to Mexico to help build houses. As someone who has done something similar to this years ago, uh, I think it's a wonderful thing to do. But uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, Gwen doesn't know how to speak Spanish. And this is just one of the many things that makes her nowhere near as dedicated to the cause of Christianity as Paul. This then results in the conflict for the film's third act, The Falling Out. So Paul calls her out for being a great big fat phony as she then goes home. Presumably she walked all the way back, or she hitched a ride on a chuck wagon or a pickup truck, possibly. After having some convincing to become a fully-fledged Christian from a director cameo from Combine Harvester Bernstein and Christian Wanda Sykes, she then goes back to church to see Paul, who is now getting married, or going out with, either or, to Kelly. Of course, Gwen is very broken up about this until she gets a letter from a little girl that she befriended back in Mexico, which convinces her to get a new job as a teacher for some of these Mexican children. And then on top of all of that, Paul actually comes back to her. Yes, and he confesses that he's broken up with Kelly as his heart truly belongs to her. But what I find strange out of all of this is that he went from wearing tucked in button downs and polos with blue jeans to khaki shorts and unbuttoned plaid shirts. So now they are both religious, together, soon to get married, and I think it's implied that Kelly will come back in the sequel, Christian Mingle the Movie 2, Electric Boogaloo. So that was Christian Mingle the Movie. What makes it a film that Christian housewives all across America would love is its Hallmark Channel movie charm, especially for its Christian movie star celebrity power. Now some critics probably will call this movie hackneyed and cliched, or say that the product placement in the film feels forced, confusing, and really doesn't add that much to the plot. But if you're only going to watch this movie for its religious overtones and nothing else, then I think this movie is definitely for you. I mean, heck, I will even go as far to say that if you liked Cyber Seduction on the Lifetime channel, you'd probably like this movie just as much, if not a little bit more. But if you're a single Christian mom who's looking for a good date movie, I highly recommend Christian Mingle the movie. Um, I I'm still getting that check, right? Thank you. May Jesus be with you. Every shitty wall that we build get knocked down. Row no rah rah.